Steve Macron's party has an interesting response to losing the recent election in the Telegraph. Uh, yeah, they say the French don't want left-wing government's tax rises. No. They should have voted a different way yes, then. <laughs> oh, it's been late now. Uh, this is Aurel Berger, who said that the centrist bloc is the only alternative to the NFP coalition. So let's, let's go. They're in a bit of a pickle. Mm. So let's start where it starts. Macron got some bad results for the European election, so said, let's do a presidential one. Then you first round... No, hard Prime Ministerial. Right. He's presidential. He oh, yes, called, the, he the called the a... He could have the parliament. parliamentary yeah. one. Um, so the hard right, the uh, national rally, Le Rally National, mm. um, they won the first, they were doing well in the first one, so yeah. then it became more of a centrist right and, sorry, centrist left and left versus right. Yeah. And if you just make it a left versus right, to be fair, the left got more votes. That's but the, way but the, one of these lefts, is it the NFP or whatever, that can't remember, they, they are really quite hard left, yes. apparently. Yeah. Right. The new, the new popular front. Nicholas, he'll know, he's our European. <laughs> so, well, you know, in Italian we say, if you are the cause of your own ill, you must blame just yourself. Yeah. Right? So here, Macron called that snap election. Mm. Uh, Rassemblement National or uh, National Rally was poised to win. They did win the first round. But yeah. then Macron's party and the left coalition, what did they do? They withdrew candidates, either from this side or the other yes. side, in yeah. order to turn every constituency into a two-horse race. It's really close to rigging, isn't it? And I don't want to say that it is rigging because obviously it's within the rules. It's playing it's the system, done, but, but when, yeah. when it, rigging is not just about stuffing fake ballot papers no. into ballot boxes, right? That's what the Brexit party did in 2019 as well. Yeah, yeah. So they have reaped the whirlwind now. They are basically so, stuck. So the, 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 we'll because now we have three blocks and yeah. these three blocks have more or less the same number of votes. Yeah. And of course, it's, it's ingovernable. And of course, the natural scenario would be for the so-called center right of Macron to go with the far right of Le Pen, mm. uh, Le Pen who has said uh, inaudible or uh, irreprehensible things such as, you know, let's deport criminals. And ironically, mm. they are the pro-Israeli side, the far right being the pro-Israeli side yeah. in all of this matter. But the, the, the leftist bloc includes uh, Mélenchon's um, uh, indomitable France or unbowed, unbowed France okay. that, next to communists and socialists so yeah. not just one communist yeah, party but more than that public the, the uh, sort of historical traditional yeah and they want more taxes they want more refugees they are, they are going to define a new uh, refugee status based on climate change so now you can claim refugee wow. status because of soil erosion in your country so it's, wow. it's, 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 it's all a mess and it's all a, a disaster of yeah. Macron's making and he made it very quickly, but go see. I was yeah. going to say, it makes first past the post look like it makes a lot of sense. Well, the thing with first past the post, which I think people don't entirely understand, but perhaps have done recently, is that you still have to form a coalition. You just form it before the election. Yeah. So you say, this is the coalition you'll be voting for. But and it's, uh, people don't seem to grasp that. And that is the mess here. Of the Part yeah. of it is already a coalition of uh, a whole set of things. And there is, the, the solution is to make a coalition of a bit of that coalition mixed yes. in with a bit of this coalition. Yeah. That is such a mess. Yeah. It's, it's going to look like it's not going to work before it starts. At yeah. least if you get your arguing done before you have the election. And so part of Macron's calculation, so I read anyway, I don't understand French, I, all of this stuff is kind of just spewed out of me, I'm digested. But part of Macron's calculation was put Le Pen in a position where she actually has to govern or be involved in the governing process, and then a bit like the SNP, perhaps, you will see how rubbish they are when mm. they are not allowed to simply spout their usual rhetoric on what amounts to a single issue. Mm. That's not going to happen either, is it? Mm. Le Pen is still going to be able to claim the, an even heightened sense of grievance compared to previously. They have been played out of the system by mm. co coordinated uh, uh, malice. They might become even more popular. And yeah. right now, they are the biggest party. Yeah. They, they are the biggest party, and this is not a good show for democracy. He's going to bite his scrawny little butt. Anyway, mm.